I don't know. That's this is this is how I feel about it right now. What's up? So in the car it's 154 and I'm heading to Bridgewater Mall. If you're from Jersey, then you know where that is. Um, and if you're not, then you don't. But I'm heading there because it's the closest mall. One, it's the closest mall to my job. And two, my camera's not straight. And three, um, I used to work at that Sephora. So hopefully I can see some old friends. So I'm just gonna head there and get a little makeup shopping in and then head to work. Okay, I'm extremely disappointed in these shades, guys. So I'm gonna show you the variation in the shades because I'm not happy, I'm not happy. So on the left, that's my shade 390. This is pretty much 390 to 345. Please tell me if you see a highlight shade for 390 with a golden undertones. Doesn't it look like I put mustard on my hand? But there's not a lot of golden undertone here. So I'm not happy about it. But we'll see. We will see. I'm gonna grab probably three shades and do a review on them. So we'll see. Okay guys, so like I was saying, not happy with the shade range. Oh Lord. The car is windy as heck. They feel great, they feel very creamy from the swatches, but no bueno. Like, literally. Turn right after 250 feet. So I started and what the display says Turn left is, after a quarter of a mile. The display says to start with your foundation shade and then adjust it from there. I started with 390 and then I worked my way down. So as you saw in like the clip, they're all shades of pink. They are all like cool or neutral undertones. And that doesn't, that doesn't go well with me because I have warm undertones. So I'm going to film a review of first impressions with it on and give you guys my thoughts then but I just wanted to give you my initial feedback from just seeing all the shades in person um, I don't know that's this is this is how I feel about it right now so as you can see from the title we are reviewing something very special something very dear to my heart the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealers and Powders that just launched yesterday. I went to the mall, to Sephora, because I wasn't going to buy it online. So as you saw in some of the vloggy clips, you would have already seen how I feel like my first, first impression at the store. Are my lips dry to you guys? They're dry to me. Hold on. Better? You decided to skip to this point. I will give you a quick overview of how I felt about the shade range and all of that. As you know, the Pro Filter Concealer comes in 50 shades. I have my laptop right here. So we're just gonna go to the Fenty Beauty site. So the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer has 50 shades and it says it's a creamy longwear crease proof liquid concealer that delivers lightest air, medium to full coverage in a groundbreaking range of 50 easy to shop soft matte shades. They range in light, medium, tan, deep. You walk into Sephora, you will see the display and it tells you to start with your foundation shade. Your foundation shade, the concealer is supposed to complement the foundation shade. They are not supposed, they are not the same color. So they say start with that and then adjust as you need. So it's supposed to give you a guideline. Having 50 shades, there's a lot of options and it can be a little overwhelming if you don't have like a starting spot. So 390 is a is the last shade in the tan range for Fenty's foundation. And it's for tan to deep skin with warm yellow. Well, the foundation is for like warm golden, warm yellow undertones because I do have warm golden undertones. Um, in the winter, I can get a little olive -y, um, but typically warm yellow undertones, warm golden undertones, that's, that's, that's your girl, okay? 
in a concealer, I also want warm golden undertones. And that is where I found, I will say that's where I was disappointed in the shade range. Um, so I'm just gonna go off of what the website says. So 390 is for, dan is for tan to deep skin with warm yellow undertones. 385 for tan to deep skin with neutral undertones. 380 for tan to deep skin with cool undertones. 370 for tan skin with warm neutral undertones. 360 for tan skin with neutral undertones. 350 for tan skin with cool neutral undertones. 345 for tan skin with warm olive undertones. 340 for tan skin with cool undertones. For 330 for tan skin with warm undertones. 320 for medium to tan skin with cool undertones. 310 for medium to tan skin with warm yellow undertones. 300 for medium to tan skin with warm undertones. Okay, so that's the entire tan range from darkest to lightest. I don't know if you noticed when I was talking about the undertones, and again, these are the undertones at Fenty Beauty on Fenty Beauty's website, what they are classifying, their descriptions for their concealers. I do not want warm golden undertones for my skin, for my face, and then neutral or cool undertones for my eyes that they don't, they don't match. The next time I saw warm yellow undertones was I think 3.30. Warm yellow undertones, 310. That's a huge gap. So then the next thing that had warm undertones was 330. Again, I'm 390. That's a huge gap. So for me, it was a struggle finding something with my with the undertones that I was looking for. And I also feel like warm yellow or warm golden undertones is a very popular thing when you're around my skin complexion, I couldn't, there was no one shade that I was like, this is it. Which was very disappointing given the fact that there are 50, 50 shades. The concealers literally look like shades of pink. 50 shades of pink. So that's that. That was based off first, first impression, walking into the store and just swatching it. So first things first, I have to do these brows because I have to do these brows. I'm gonna do my brows off camera because that's not the point of the video. We're here for Fenty, so I will come back when we're ready for Fenty. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I figured I would start with just my eyebrows done and I can show you like my foundation and stuff, all of that on camera. So I was stuck between which foundations I wanted to use, whether I wanted to use my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter or my Born This Way. I'm going to use Fenty because I figured we could just make this a Fenty face and make it nice and easy in one brand sort of thing. Gosh, it's been ages since I've used this foundation. Concealer time, what we've all been waiting for. Honestly, I've been waiting for Rihanna to, to announce that she was coming out with a liquid concealer because the sticks are cool, but I don't reach for them because they're so dry. So I'm gonna go in the bag of goodies and I'll swatch them. Oh my gosh, his hand is so ashy because I just um, wet my beauty blender. So let's let's fix that. This is shade 390. Well, first off, this is the packaging. It's the mini version of the foundation. This is what it looks like, the frosted glass, really pretty. And says the shade number on the bottom. So this, just for reference, this is my foundation shade and this is my concealer shade. It's a little lighter. So these are the three that I got, 345, 370, 390. So creamy. So that's 390. 370. 
345. So I got 345 because it's super warm. So I figured if this wasn't warm enough, if 370 wasn't warm enough, I could just mix a little bit of 345 for some of that yellow because as you can see, that's warm, honey, okay? I'm gonna use 390 to kind of correct certain things on the face. But first, let's talk about the concealer. So it's clearly very creamy. It's a very creamy formula. The applicator actually holds a lot of product. See how it's like tapers. It's like a spongy applicator. This is my favorite applicator for concealer because it really fits under the eye beautifully. I'm keeping this right under my eye. I don't want to bring this down too far. It blends out very nicely, very easily. It says it's crease proof, but I do have creases under my eyes naturally, so I don't expect to see that whole crease proof mess. I'm probably not gonna see it. I have creases, it's gonna settle where there's lines. If there's lines, it's probably gonna settle. I'm okay with that. So if it creases, I'm not, I'm not too concerned. Okay, let's give you some close-ups. That's way less than what I would normally use. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 370 on and but I'm gonna do like my normal amount to really see what this concealer can do because it said it claims that it's medium to full coverage so let's see oh yeah this is way too pink I don't know if you guys can tell on camera or if the natural light is making it seem warmer than it is but it's it's got some pink in there with that I can work with that I would love it if it had a touch more warmth but because it says it's warm neutral undertones I can work with it yeah what do you guys think I think that looks good. Please excuse the bags under my eyes. Again, I've been moving and it's been a very, uh, it's been a little stressful. So the bags are here. <laughs> Haven't really been sleeping that well, but I think that that looks good. Let me move closer. See how I have more, I already have natural lines under my eyes. So it's not gonna cover my lines really because you know they're there naturally. But I think it looks very smooth. Now my eye wants to start twitching. How exciting. I think it looks good. I think I don't need I don't I don't think I need to mix any of the 345 in with it. Now that that's done, let's go on to the next step, which is the powders. My puff is so tight. This, I got new headbands to make my puffs and they're just super tight. In addition to the concealers, I got two new powders and these are the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powders. I got them in two shades because I didn't know what shade I wanted to use. So we're gonna experiment with both. I'll do one on one side, one on the other. So I got banana and honey. There's certain, I think there's like four shades that say specifically that they're great for brightening and both of these are it. So I figured, let's play, let's see. We'll see if there's any flashback. We'll do that whole test and see how smooth it is. I'm not, I do not bake, so I will not be baking. If you need, if you wanna see if these are great for baking, I'm not the one to watch. I don't bake, I have dry skin, so no. 
So this is the packaging, super cute. It seems pretty big. And then it says the shade on the back. So this is banana. It's so pretty. Has the logo right here. So I will either use a sponge to apply my powder or a setting brush like this, but I'm gonna use a sponge because my setting brush is dirty and I don't feel like washing it. So I'm just gonna tap some into the lid. And I'm gonna do the same thing with honey. So banana is kind of a light yellow. It's not super yellow, um, but it's a light yellow powder. It's definitely not as yellow as, if you know like banana powder from Ben Nye, it's not as yellow. And then this is honey. Mm, honey might be a little dark. Sorry if the light goes down. I'm using natural light, so it's fluctuating. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into banana. Knock off the excess. Cause again, I'm dry, so I don't need a whole bunch of powder. It doesn't, it doesn't sit well, literally, okay? So it's gonna go under the under eye. and just press that in. And then that was banana, flip it over for honey. Yeah, honey's a little dark for under my eye. not because and I think it's because I don't use a lot if I was baking I probably wouldn't be able to use honey okay so this is the honey side this is the banana side as as I can see I don't know if you guys can tell but it's a little bit brighter on this side versus this side a little bit brighter which makes sense because I use a lighter powder so I'm gonna continue using banana for the center of my face. And then I'm gonna use honey for my smile lines. Cause I'm not trying to brighten up this area. I'm trying to just sit. So I like that. I think it looks good. This is what we're looking like after, after foundation, concealer, and powder. I think this looks really good. I think it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face and then I will come back to you guys with my final thoughts. Okay, I'm back. It's like an hour later because I get distracted easily. Do you want some lashes? And this one's a little wonky because this is a used one. So the end is a little jacked up, but it's okay. So let's talk. Concealer. I like it. This is what it looks like about an hour in. In regards to the finish, I think the finish is beautiful. I can kind of see the pink, that neutral, the warm neutral of the concealer. I can kind of see the neutralness. I didn't spray my face, I'm losing it. But I like the concealer, the shade, I have to kind of play with a little bit more, but I like the finish, I like the coverage. I did not use a lot. So I'm getting that medium coverage right now. Uh, the setting powders I like. Let's do the, a flash photography test. Okay. I'm walking up to my sister's room because it's probably the darkest room in the house. I'm really liking my face right now. Okay, so I'm gonna insert the picture here or the multiple pictures here. 
as you can see, no flashback. Now, let's just get back to our seat real quick. So like I said, as you can see, there was no flashback, but what I will say yeah, is I do not bake. I, you saw the small, the little amount that I put under my eyes and on the rest of my face. I do not bake. I cannot say that if you bake for five, 10 minutes that, that you're not gonna have flashback. I don't bake, so I can only speak for me, what I do, my experience. Um, I would suggest try baking. I don't know, I, I don't bake, so there's that. I like the finish. I think my under eye area looks very smooth other than my creases. I'm gonna try to layer it on the next time I use it to really see how buildable it is, but it's very comfortable. My under eye does not feel drying at all. I actually use more powder today than I usually do. Cause usually, cause today I kind of put powder like here. Typically I will only put it here and here. Um, I, it doesn't feel drying at all. It's very comfortable on the skin. Um, so I'm very happy. I'm happy with the quality of the products. Again, I really wish that um, the undertones for the the end of the tan spectrum going into the early, like the early deep section. I really wish there were more warm undertones versus cool and neutral because again, as you saw from the swatch of me in the store, it was 50 shades of pink. I just need another warm option between 330 or 345 and 390. I feel like there's enough shades there that one of them could have been um, warm. But other than that, I'm really happy with this launch. I think she's gonna be very successful with it. I will pick this concealer up again. I'm gonna try and see and play around with 345 and 370 together to see if I can get that, like the, my perfect shade. So yeah, I think that's it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.